DARPA Future Technology. DARPA is one of the best technologies all over the world. It is situated in the U.S. Recently, DARPA has launched a future plan that involves a number of new technologies. What are these technologies and how will they affect our common life? Here, we will try to know everything about it. So hello friends, welcome to Techverse you all. Today we are back here again with a brand new topic. Have you thought about how the defense of the country would help in the promotion of new technology? Here we will see a live example, so watch the video till the end to know everything about it. Before we start the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and hit that bell icon to watch more videos like this. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is a research and development agency of the United States Department of Defense in charge of developing emerging technologies for military use. In response to the Soviet Union's successful launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957, President Dwight D. Eisenhower established the Advanced Research Projects Agency, or ARPA, on February 7, 1958. During its early years, the agency was known by its acronym. DARPA is able to formulate and carry out research and development projects to push the boundaries of technology and science by working with partners in academia, industry, and government. These projects frequently go beyond the requirements of the immediate needs of the United States military. The United States committed after the launch of Sputnik in 1957 that it would, from that point forward, be the initiator of strategic technological surprises rather than the victim of such surprises. This commitment led to the conception of both that mission and DARPA itself. DARPA has proven time and again that it is capable of achieving its mission by successfully collaborating with innovators both inside and outside of the government. These efforts have resulted in the realization of once unimaginable capabilities and revolutionary ideas. The ultimate results have included not only game-changing military capabilities, such as precision weapons and stealth technology, but also such icons of modern civilian society as the internet, automated voice recognition and language translation, and global positioning system receivers small enough to embed in a myriad of consumer devices. These results have had significant impact on both the military and the civilian spheres. The Department of Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, aims explicitly for revolutionary change rather than incremental progress. On the other hand, it does not carry out its engineering alchemy in a vacuum. It operates within an innovation ecosystem that includes academic, corporate, and governmental partners, with a consistent focus on the nation's armed services, which collaborate with DARPA to develop new strategic opportunities and innovative tactical options. Since its inception, DARPA has fostered an ecosystem that is dynamic, interconnected, and composed of a wide variety of collaborators. This environment has proven to be an ideal habitat for the intense creativity that DARPA seeks to foster. During an interview with the Defense Writers Group, Stephen H. Walker revealed that his organization is working on a variety of technologies, including artificial intelligence projects, hypersonic technologies, promising biological technologies, advanced electronics, and more. Here are a few future plans that DARPA has planned to launch in coming years, and they are working day and night on these projects. Today, we will see here a detailed explanation of laser technology and artificial intelligence. Laser Technology Additionally, DARPA has made advancements in the field of solid-state lasers, which are currently being tested at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Soon, members of the armed forces may be permitted to employ directed energy weapons in combat situations. These are not the size of a lightsaber from Star Wars, but they can drive it around, says Walker. They can drive it around. In the realm of space systems, the agency is investigating whether or not it would be possible to launch highly capable satellites into low Earth orbit in order to meet a wide range of requirements, including command and control, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and tactical war fighting. Walker stated that they had been discussing this topic for quite some time. The difference that exists today is that the technology has progressed to the point where it enables you to think about the possibility of having some fairly capable small satellites that you can place in low Earth orbit and in larger constellations. Blackjack is the name of the new program that we are launching, and its purpose is to look at how we leverage the commercial sector and what they want to do at low Earth orbit. Because of this, a threat would be forced to target a large number of satellites, which would make the system inherently resistant to attack. They would be placed in low Earth orbit, which is relatively inexpensive, in comparison to the current location of satellites in geosynchronous orbit, which is over 22,300 miles above the surface of the Earth. Artificial Intelligence 
The director is under the impression that the United States is not falling further behind China and Russia in the field of artificial intelligence. According to him, DARPA has been working on artificial intelligence, AI, since the 1960s. When he talks about AI, he differentiates between autonomy at rest and autonomy in motion. Applications that use judgment to assist humans in decision making, search an area, or compile data are examples of autonomous systems that are at rest. The concept of autonomy in motion refers to AI systems that are able to function on their own. However, despite the fact that there is a place for these systems, they do not have the ability to decide whether or not to use lethal force. Walker stated that the United States of America will not permit a computer to make that determination. Walker is of the opinion that there should be a greater amount of research conducted in various biological fields. He stated that DARPA is considering developing vaccines against the flu in a matter of days rather than months or years. He wants the agency to investigate potential means of defending the country against biological assaults. He is interested in looking into the problem of gene editing, which is something that countries like China are moving forward with. Biology is a fast-paced field, and certainly you can see China is making big investment in DNA sequencing and their DNA database, he said. Biology is one of the most exciting fields in science today. According to Walker, the United States also needs to invest in technologically advanced electronics. China is working toward establishing domestic production for all electronic goods. Now, let us see a few examples of innovation done by DARPA. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now and hit the bell icon. Now, let us get back to the comment. So the next project of DARPA is Exacto Projectiles, which are bullets that can change course while they are in the air. Extreme Accuracy, Tasked Ordnance, or Exacto, are the first bullets in the military that can find their own way. Exacto bullets can change their course while they are in the air to account for the movement of a target or anything else that might have sent the bullet off course. The tips of the bullets are made of optical materials that can find lasers on a target. The bullets are then head toward the laser using tiny fins. The Pentagon used these rounds in a live fire test that went well. Flying Truck So the next example is the Ares program, which is part of DARPA's Transformer program and is run by Skunk Works, which is an attempt to make a real flying truck. Ares will be a two-mode vehicle that can both drive on the ground and take off and land vertically at high speeds. The vehicle will be able to hover and land because it has two fans that tilt. The vehicle can also be set up to fly very fast. Robotic Pack Animals So the next example is Robotic Pack Animals. Legged Squad Support System, LS3, is a mobile, semi-autonomous, four-legged robot being developed by Boston Dynamics and can serve as a beast of burden on the battlefield. Currently, the Alpha Dog from Boston Dynamic can traverse 70 to 80% of the terrain that troops can traverse on foot. The prototype can hold hundreds of pounds of equipment, reducing the weight carried by soldiers. It is now participating in testing trials in Hawaii alongside the Marines. DARPA has contributed a lot to the development of technology. It is the base for development of a lot of technology that we are using today. For example, the internet, GPS, and more have their origins there. So, that's all for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this. And thanks for watching.